Norm, it's a pretty impressive centre. I mean, I love what you've done here, the combination of incredible historic artefacts, technology. I mean, it just really brings this story to life. I mean, uh, tell me about the vision for the, for the museum and, and, and what you've done here to help tell the story of the bombing of Darwin. Yeah, thanks for that, Matt. Firstly, we're trying to educate people about um, not only the Northern Territory's rich military history, but about Australia's history in military conflict. The whole focus of this museum, which is 50 years old, last year, by the way, it's not celebrating war. It's trying to tell the story, but it not only tells the, uh, the military story, it starts telling the, the civilian story as well. And that, that's a large part of our history, I think, that's been um, to a degree overlooked. Uh, and we need to focus on that because the civilians played a vital part in the, uh, the recovery. And, um, you know, their, their lives uh, were shattered. Um, you know, quite a number of them lost their lives that their, um, their homes uh, were destroyed, their livelihoods were lost, their uh, friends and family were um, killed. Norm, there's a, a perception that the story of the bombing of Darwin has been a little bit forgotten in Australia and indeed around the world. Why is it important that we tell this story? Why is it important that this story doesn't disappear from the pages of history? Certainly you can understand that immediately after the, the initial raids in 1942, the Commonwealth Government closed the place down. There was censorship, there was secrecy. They wanted to avoid panic. The, uh, the fear of invasion was on uh, everybody's mind. The Commonwealth Government uh, introduced martial law up here till about 1946. The local newspaper was closed down. The army ran and published its, uh, its own uh, newspaper called Army News. It was, um, we've got quite a number of copies of the various editions and it really is the propaganda type stuff that all's well and sort of, you know, uh, everybody's doing fine, the war's going okay. So I think all of us can understand that, um, that censorship, but after the war, it was like, the Commonwealth just walked away from it. I, I, personally, I think there was a lot of embarrassment. We were caught totally unaware, unprepared. The promises of defending the North from 1911 up until 1942 hadn't come to fruition. And I think the majority of people in Australia wanted to forget it. And that little place, Darwin, well, so I got bombed once or twice. The story never got out. And what we're trying to do now is to say, this is a really important part of our national, not only military history, our national history. This is the most bombed, most attacked place in Australia.